again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we begin today's video, I would like you to point your attention towards this small table here, which represents the various SQL commands categories that we have. Up until now, we were covering length and breadth of the select statement, which is part of the DQL family of SQL commands. And now DQL stands for data query language. Now as a data analyst, you would most probably be working with either DQL or DML, data manipulation language. Remaining three, which are data definition language, data control language, and transaction control language are something that most related to a SQL developer. And if you're interested in learning DDL, DCL, and DCL, then there are number of videos available on YouTube where you can learn all these concepts. But since this channel focuses on data analytics and ways we can do data analysis, I will be covering only DQL and DML for now. In case you want me to cover DDL, DCL and TCL as well, then do let me know in the comment section. Now coming back to the topic, the DQL part of SQL commands is something that can be run within BigQuery using the free default account that you create using your Google account. But to run any DML queries, which includes update, insert and delete, you would need to set up a billing account. Now don't worry, if you are doing this for a learning purpose, Google already gives us $300 free credit for 90 days so that you can practice these concepts without paying a single dime to Google. All you have to do is set up a billing account and the way you set up a billing account is by clicking on this small button here which says upgrade and this will take you to the billing page wherein you would have to insert your credit card details and then it will just verify your credit card and create your trial account. Now, unless you opt for a paid account, Google will not charge you anything. After the 90 days, it will simply get deactivated. So you don't have to worry about Google charging your credit card after 90 days. Now, since that's out of the way, let's quickly jump into today's topic. Today, we will be covering the update statements within the DML category of SQL commands. And we will see how you can use the update statements to manipulate your tables as a part of data cleaning activity. The data set that we're using today is the same data set that we've been using so far, which is open power lifting. And you can download the data from the link in the description. Now in the open power lifting data, we have a column here which says division, right? And in the division column, I have a lot of values here, but I also see one null value here. Now from a data processing point of view, I do not want a null value to be shown in my division column. So I would need a way to change this value to something that I would prefer. Let's say not applicable, okay, instead of a null value. So how do we do that? I'm gonna open up an editor window here and I'm gonna write a SQL statement. Now you have seen how we write a select statement. This is how we write a update statement, okay? So keyword for update is update. You write the table name and in this case, this is open power lifting. So I'm gonna select this one. The second line of code that you write in an update statement is set, okay? Where you're setting a value for a certain column. And I'm gonna say set division is equal to not applicable, where now I'm asking SQL to change the value of division to not applicable where a certain condition is meeting. So in my case, where division is null. And I'm gonna run this. Now, because it's an update statement, it might take some while depending on the data set and how heavy it is. But after it has executed, it will show you a message like this. As you see here, this statement modified 15,844 rows in open power lifting, which means there were 15,843 rows where we had null values in division, okay? And if I go back to my open power lifting, go to preview, I will not be seeing that null value anywhere now. And just to check if it has actually removed my null value or not, I'm gonna write a statement which says, select distinct divisions from open power lifting. Now this is a new way where you can run a specific query within the same editor window. All you have to do is just select the statement that you wanna run and click on run, okay? It will run just that portion of the query. 
anything else which is not selected it will simply ignore like for example in this case it is ignoring the update statement that i've written at the top and just running this select statement here i'm going to just run this and it's going to give me some results now there are a lot of results which are which were fetched so just to filter out something i'm going to just say where division is null now ideally there should not be any record which have null in it so it should return a zero record as we expected it is now showing there is no data to display. So our update statement worked just fine. Now update is not limited to just one column. I can set multiple columns where a certain condition is met. Like for example, I have certain row items where squat 4 kilo is null and bench 4 kilo is also null. So I'm going to simply say set squat 4 kg is equal to zero. And while you're setting up the values, just make sure that you adhere to the data type that particular column consists of okay so that you don't create any problems of future queries now i know that what 4 kg is a float right which is a number type column and i can assign a number type value to it not a string okay so i'm gonna say squat 4g is equal to zero and i'm gonna also say bench 4 kg is equal to zero where division is equal to not applicable okay and I'm going to run this. And again, this has modified 15,843 records. I'm going to just write a select statement in the new editor window. Select star from powerlifting where division is equal to not applicable. Now, as you see, it has updated squat 4 kg and bench 4 kg to zero wherever they, we had null values. Okay. So this is how you use an update statement and update statement really helps a lot when you are analyzing a data and finds out an anomaly. And obviously I would not suggest you are running the update statement on the raw data. Always create a copy of your main table and work on that table so that in case you want to move back or see what was the original data set, you always have an option to do that. So that is it for update statement. We will continue working on DML queries in future videos and let me know in the comment section in case you are stuck somewhere with this. That's it for today. If you're liking my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.